This video will show the proper steps to install Chance Squareshaft anchors. See additional videos at HubblePowerSystems.com on how to select anchor tooling for these types of anchors. Squareshaft anchors, also known as SS anchors, are designed for heavier guy loading than other types of anchors. Extensions allow the crew to install the anchor deep into the ground to reach stronger soils. Torque is the force applied to screw the anchor into the ground. The holding capacity of the anchor can be determined by measuring torque. This cannot be done with buried plate or log anchors. There are five different square shaft anchor families based on the torsion and tension capacities. Torque ratings range from 5,500 foot-pounds to 23,000 foot-pounds, and tension ratings are from 70,000 pounds to 200,000 pounds. The three primary components of the square shaft tension anchor system are lead sections, which are available with various helix plate combinations, extensions, which are available with or without a helix, and guy adapters, offered with one, two, or three groove designs to accept multiple guy wires. Let's begin the installation by attaching the lead section to the anchor tool. See HubblePowerSystems.com for instructional video on picking the correct square shaft installation tooling. Start the anchor in a near vertical position. As the first helix begins to penetrate, move the truck's boom to the proper guy angle. To reduce the bending on the anchor tooling and truck boom, be sure to keep the anchor rotating as the boom is moved. Once the lead section is installed, pull the bent arm pin. Use the boom to lift the tooling off the anchor. The next step is to install the extension. Chance extensions are provided with the coupling bolt attached. Remove the bolt and attach the extension to the installation tool. The patented alignment window on the Chance Square Shaft tooling makes it easy to attach the extension. Remember to always use the bent arm pin and coil lock provided with each tool. Align the extension and lead section bolt holes and then slide the extension onto the lead section. Install the bolt making sure to tighten the bolt and nut with a wrench. Continue to drive the anchor and add extensions until the desired torque is reached and maintained for a minimum of 3 feet. The minimum installation depth is approximately 5 feet. Although square shaft anchors can be installed as deep as 100 feet, it is recommended to consider using lead sections with larger helices or using extensions with a helix. Twisting of the square shaft material is normal and does not decrease the strength of the steel. Do not exceed the torque rating of the anchor. Shaft twists should not be the sole torque indicating device because it exhibits a range of possible torque values, not the actual torque. Using the Chance Wireless Torque Indicator, you can install screw anchors to a predetermined torque value, which gives positive indication of anchor holding capacity in any type of soil. Holding capacity charts can be found at HubblePowerSystems.com to show the holding capacities based on various torque levels. Here are a few anchor installation tips. Let the anchor work itself down. Keep down pressure on the anchor to allow anchor to penetrate soil without churning the soil. Don't get in a big hurry. It only takes a few minutes to install screw anchors. Try not to let the anchor spin in place. An anchor should penetrate approximately three inches each revolution. To complete the anchor installation, add a guy adapter. Note the anchor installation was stopped with the bolt holes aligned to position the guy adapter to accept multiple guy wires. 